Marvin Lisa Lisa Marvin Art. Check out my new fancy backdrop. Kind of fun. So today I'm really excited because we're going to talk about peacock cells. What is a peacock cell? Well, a few years ago when I started blooming, um, I was using whatever paints I had on hand. I was a portrait artist, so just had random paints, mostly like Liquitex, and I never really paid attention to opacities. And when I was blooming, I just kind of was, was always throwing these crazy color combinations together. And what I not no noticed is that um, I started getting these like cool looking cells sometimes, where um, it would be like different multicolored layers inside a cell and I didn't understand what that was or why that was happening. Then I realized it was because the way I was layering my opaque paints with my semi paints. Now, it is a myth that you can't use opaque paints in your blooms. It is also a myth that they should be on the first uh, layer. Now, I will say for beginners, Peacock cells can be a little tricky, so I have a few tips to show you what to do, what not to do, and how to get the most out of your opaque paints. Because like opaque paints, you just have to like, just be chill with them, just like a little bit. They're, they're not, you can't like throw them out to the center of the show. They've gotta be like, like a extra in your show, if you know what I mean. But once you use them correctly, you can really get great results. And so let's get to blooming. Products are so important for the bloom because as I said before, every layer needs to be at a perfect consistency for it to work. Now I've narrowed it down to a very few simple products that I use in Canada. Now, there are a few different ones in the States that I don't get here that I will be testing, but you can also get these in the States. And I know that these work for sure for me, for the types of blooms that I want to create. So my pillow paint, Glidden Essentials Eggshell. The reason I love her is because she's, for me, not too thick, not too thin, not too many bubbles. So she's really the perfect bear for me. Now, speaking of bear, my pouring medium is Bear 8300 and Joe Sonia Gloss. Now, some people do have a hard time working with these ingredients because they are a bit glossy. So Bear Dynasty also is a good one um, if you can't get this to work, but I will be doing um, a consistency video to show you exactly the perfect way to mix your pouring medium. And finally, the magic sauce, what you need is your Australian Floetrol. When we started the bloom, um, it was really hard to get our hands on Australian Floetrol. Luckily, Fluid Art Company, fluid-art.co, carries it, ships it to you from wherever you, wherever you are in the States, in Canada, in Europe, super easy to get. And this, for me, you can definitely use US Floetrol. I have videos about it, but like, why? If you really want the best, just do it this way. Okay, so I have my paints mixed up here and I've mixed up some of my favorite opaque paints that I use for my peacock cells. And then I just mixed up some other uh, paints. We're not going to be, it's really hard for me, but we're not using any sparklies today. Uh, in future videos, I'm going to show you how to layer in your pigments into your peacock cells, but today I wanted to keep it simple. Now we're going to talk a little sciencey, and I'm not a science person, but this is what I found. Opaque paints, and you'll see, you can tell an opaque paint, a lot of brands show you either a filled in square, like golden, when it's totally filled in, that means it's opaque. When it's empty, that means it's transparent, and when it's half and half, it means semi. So that's just golden. Um, Amsterdam has the same thing where they have the filled in squares or the half squares. Um, basically though, you can tell if a paint is opaque, if it just looks um, 
like there's white added to it. So what opaque paints are is they do not, when they're layered, let's see how many it is, when they're layered on top of a color, they do not let any light through. The reason opaque paints are tricky to use in a bloom is because if you layer an opaque paint on top and just don't blow through it, you're gonna have that one full color on top with nothing coming through. However, if you layer correctly and you blow correctly, you'll have, you'll blow apart that opaque paint and the other colors underneath will shine through, therefore giving you peacock cells. The layering of the paints is very important. But let's talk about some of my favorite opaque paints. Amsterdam Sky Blue is one of my go-tos for making peacock cells. I really enjoy it. Lately, I've been using this um, Amsterdam Titan Buff. It's not fully white. You could use titanium white. Um, it gives a little bit of a warmer feel to it when you add it. And an Old Faithful Teal is always good for making peacock cells. And finally, I really enjoy Australian Sky Blue by Matisse. Now, you could use any opaque paint, really. These are just some of the favorites that I use. So layering, as I said, is very important. What we're gonna do today, is, I'll do a few different layerings, but normally when I use my peacock cells, I either end up layering two colors and an opaque, and then another two colors and an opaque. I usually use two opaques. Now remember I said layering an opaque on top is very um, difficult and it's something you have to be very careful with. If you layer your opaque in the first three um, and then transparents or semis after, you have less chance of making a mistake because uh, you have paints on top that you could kind of blow through. So we're gonna do many different ways today. What you wanna think about when you layer your opaque down is what is underneath your opaque because these are the colors that are going to pop through under your opaque paint. So you wanna be aware of that. I'm also gonna do a whole layering video separate from this um, for my modules, but this is just a little introduction. By the way, I'm using Payne's Gray Cell Activator today. And I think, that is about it. So the few different layerings we're gonna do, it will be fun actually to do an experiment with all opaque paints. I'll do the two opaque and then two um, transparent, and then I'll do two opaque, two opaque, and we'll see which one we like better. So let's head over to the spinner and wish me luck. Okay. So I have my cute little tile down here. Got this at Home Depot. I like the shape, but I just wanted something small to do a little experiments on. I put my pillow actually in this Josonia bottle because I'm very organized and I can do small little puddles. Um, so let's start with two semis, one opaque, just to see what will happen, okay? I love the look. I might have to thin down my paints already. I love the look of magenta over yellow. I love magenta over yellow too. Mo loves magenta over yellow too. And right on top, hmm, why don't I put the Australian sky blue? It's because it's kind of purplish. Awesome. And I'm just gonna drizzle lightly. And because, as I said, see this glob, I'm really gonna have to focus on to blow through because I don't want that so thick. I'm just mixing up my cell activator a bit. Okay, wish me luck on that glob there. You can see right here, really cute peacock cells. Of course, I blew too hard over here, that's okay. But this is exactly just one, what a one-layered peacock cell looks like. 
You can see the color has broken through and pops out like that. Whereas something like this, which is very pretty, you know, there's something on here, um, are the two colors mixed together. So you can see the difference. Also, this, also if you didn't know, this is, P, this is a peacock cell video. Peacock cell video, thank you, Mo. So actually this is kind of like a good comparison because that bloop actually kind of helped me show this, although it's not pretty. It helps show the difference between an opaque on top and no opaque on top. I'm gonna spit it out. Like I don't love this. I liked that it was a great um, influence. In influence, influence uh huh, of the peacock cell. Um, but it's kind of ugly. So the next one we're going to do is the same. We're gonna go um, transparent, transparent, opaque, and then transparent on top of that to see what an opaque looks like in the middle of some paints. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh, hold on, Mo, let me just move this. So whatever, like, you know, I would definitely redo this if I was giving this to someone, but I liked that, um, that that happened. And I am so neat today. Look what I'm doing. I'm wiping down, making it clean. She actually always does that. She actually always does that. Well, I don't really, I'm kind of messy, but that's okay. Okay, ready? So, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing, except, but, um, Mom, yeah. talk? yes, you may. The person who, who figures out where I'm sitting mm -hmm. gets a free painting. <laughs> you're offering free paintings if they figure out where you're sitting? I mean, where I, I mean not where I'm sitting, yeah. where, where I'm standing. Where you're standing. I'm trying to make a mix-up because, oh. you know, mm -hmm. So you're offering for free paintings? I'm offering free paintings. Oh, man. Just go in the comments. Uh-huh. And, and where I'm sitting or where I'm sitting or what I'm sitting on. Oh. Okay. So I did that again. Now, um, with having a paint on top, it might be easier to blow it out and I won't notice it as much. Hopefully we'll see. I think when, cause normally I use little popsicle sticks and I think when laying your opaques, probably using something little that you can control is better. However, on top of that, um, hmm, why don't I do this actually? So normally when I have a dark cell activator, like my paint's gray, I would use a light color, but I didn't mix any light-ish colors. So I'm gonna drizzle, isle my Diox purple cause it likes to take over. And I'm gonna drizzle this Amsterdam greenish blue okay so let's see what it looks like when i'm layering an opaque in the middle all right cute in some parts that blue didn't really do me any favors here but you can see even the blue is peacocking a bit because um, it is Cause, dark. Because it is peacock cells. It is peacock cells. And you can see that in this area here, that sky blue is peacocking um, and it's done it here. So again, it depends on your blow. If I had blown a little harder here, I would have gotten more cells popping up. I don't mind this area, we'll see how it looks when we spin it out. The spinning is the most important part. Spinning is. It, it just gets the painting together. I think this stuff is super cool. Don't love the, the blue blob there. And again, that's partly luck. It's partly the thickness of how you drizzle. Drizzling is important sometimes. And <clears throat> how you blow. So you never know. It is a lot of luck. The blue. And a lot of being perfect. You know what? I don't hate this. This is pretty fun. Um, as I spun it out, the purple has really popped through the blue, so it doesn't look as offensively blue. So let me just see how we look here. Now, you know what? I think she's kind of cute. Um, Look at all of the cute little peacocks happening everywhere. I love these bright colors. Now let's try one 
exactly the same, but this time I'm going to put another opaque right on top. Oh, don't forget to be clean. I'm going to put another opaque right on top and um, see what happens. And this time I'm actually going to use a popsicle stick for my opaques. So here we go. Diorite yellow. Magents. Thank you, honey. You're a really nice cheerleader. So, as I said, for my... When is this video going to be done? The video's going to be done shortly. You can go if you want. So, I'm drizzling this way. And then we'll see if I like this one, and then we'll see what we do after. Um, I'm going to drizzle the purple. I'm going to make sure to drizzle the blue. So it's not like so crazy. Now, on top I have a few choices. Why don't you see what happens when I put some of the Titan Buff on top? Um, I don't have another, so I'm gonna really try to be careful, okay? Like from a pie. Oop. Okay, just like that. So remember, this is transparent or semi-semi opaque, semi-semi opaque. And we'll see what kind of depth we get with that. You have so much paint. I do have a lot of paint. That blow wasn't great, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. But you can see the levels of peacocks. So we have the sky blue that was under here. Look at that, really cute, actually. And a bit of that Titan buff over here. Again, if my blow was better, I probably could have gotten in there a bit more, but really, really cute details. Um, if you can see, really cute. All right, let's spin it out. You know what, Mo, I think this is the last one. I think this is my happy ending, because normally I don't quit until I get happy with something but uh, mommy, these are really cute when, when it's a pickle painting yeah you only have one chance you're right and there's a lot of wasted paint isn't it it's a lot of wasted paint but that's you gotta waste some paint to get some good stuff sometimes you know um really cute um there's some yeah there's some really cute let's see i have the painting Thank you, honey. Like, I love the definition here. And if this was bigger, obviously it'd look cooler. <laughs> really cute things happening here. So yeah, you can see where you layer, how you layer, how you blow is super um, important. I, I think this is probably my favorite edge. What do you guys think? Right here, my favorite edge. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys learned something about the peacocks today, and I can't wait to see what you do with them and how you layer them and how you like to use them. So, uh, love you guys so much. Thanks for joining. Have a good day. Bye.